Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Lazy Luna Plays Ratchet and Clank here on the world of Rilgar in our second playthrough on Challenge Mode. Uh, looks like we've got a few collectibles to pick up here. Uh, let's go through the sewers first. Just, well, just because. Pretty sure on the first run through, we went through the sewers the second time around. So, just to change things up a little bit, I suppose. What's down here? And as I remember, this is the one that's going to have us running through. Yeah. Let's see. Should have two different instances here. One, maybe? Yeah, they've got to be flopping around on the ground before it'll actually trigger that one. Yeah, just like that. Now what weapon do we want to actually take them out with? Well, the Groove Bomb itself, apparently. Is this the right... Curious if it is or not. Oh. You went quite far up. I could have sworn that the first time around there was a lever or something we needed to do there. Or maybe it was something so we could actually get across that space. Ah, who knows. Probably just a faulty memory. Wouldn't exactly be the first time that's happened. Nor is it likely to be the last, honestly. Alright, so we want to drain that. Which way was it? Yeah, that one is blocked off. Blow a hole. Yeah, that's right. Now that we have the hole there, we need to go back up and refill it. Easily done. One would think that having played through this already, it'd be quite a bit better at remembering how to do it, but... Ah, such is not the case. Dance for me. That should deal damage to him when it finishes? Yeah. Hmm. Not as much as I was hoping. Really? Still not, huh? Alright, that guy's taking a lot of damage. There we go. Well, that was certainly not what I wanted to do. I'm just trying to save that one for a little later on. Alright, so... This is the one where we have to run and jump and spin and all of that lovely such. Yes, oh boy. We should run now. Oh boy, out of ammo. That is definitely a dangerous thing to be doing there. But the knockback into the water will definitely kill them, I think. Come on. Must go faster. Oh dear. The yes. water is oh dear. And down we go. I want to get through this section as quickly as we possibly can. Ah, not getting any experience for that, but nothing much we can do about it. Yeah, this is the longer tunnel we want to get through. And up, 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 up. Running up quickly. And to the top. Ooh, that was almost close. That was close. Yeah, so it was. Ah, uh, yeah. 
got to get as much in the way of crates as we can, preferably without drowning in the process. There we are. Well, didn't quite want to fall off there. Which way are we going? Elevator up. Yeah. Hopefully we've got some ammo coming up around here. This place looks like bad news. Better keep our eyes peeled, Clank. Yeah. All right, trespasser puzzle there. I see you got a rhino. Yep. Oh wait, haven't watched this one. Some sort of celebrity. It's going to be an upgrade. I'll give you this trespasser if you let me take your picture. Uh, weird, but okay. Hmm. Cool enough, I suppose. Definitely different than what I was expecting that one to be. Sort of assumed it would just be a, a repeat of the prior one. Anything in here? I completely missed this the first time around. All those bolts I could have had. Oh well. Alright, since this is the first Trespasser puzzle, we've already gotten the achievement for not using auto-hack. We're just going to make it really simple on ourselves. Certainly makes it a whole lot easier on ourselves. Since we hit the sewer first, we get to open that door. Which is going to basically just allow us to circle around the second time through. Head back to our ship here. Ah, the trespasser. Not just for when you lock yourself out of your apartment and you've left Lance and Janice on at top volume. Not that that's ever happened to me. No, no, of course not. Alright. Contained and exterminate all unauthorized organisms. Hmm. All right, I want to get the Groovatron back up, or Groova Bomb back out here. Hey, Groova Bomb's got another level. Get the bolts that are here. Oh. I wasn't really expecting the group of bomb to explode the crates as well, but I suppose in hindsight that is kind of what it would do. Alright, for maximum experience. Destroy everything. I got some good cards out of it. Well, card. We should actually be getting fairly close to having all of the cards. Yeah, nice little platform here. Well. Hopefully we'll be getting some ammo again fairly soon. Which I believe we will, right at the... Yeah, not necessarily at the top here. And while we're at it, Zircons could definitely use some ammo. Well, experience. You know, it's exactly what I said last time. In this exact same spot. Get another Zircon out. That was a bit of a waste, but I'm sure that I got all three versions of that one out of the same. So he has. Well, I got some Magma Buster ammo there. 
Got a grapple hook here. Drop that force field. There's our ammo box. Let's see. Yeah, let's keep going with the guru bomb here. One, what? Actually, it doesn't really matter which of them we do. We've got almost enough. Definitely get another upgrade. Nesting balls. Backup Groovatrons are stacked inside each other to enable even more ammo to be carried. Not bad, not bad. And double Disco. Addition of the Senko Funk Capacitor allows a second Groovatron to be deployed at the same time. Oh boy. I think... Yeah. That'll just about clean us out there. Should have enough to upgrade one of our weapons. I'd like it to be the Rhino Extreme, but I know that's just not going to happen here. Ah, we did have quite a bit of fun with the Proto Class, so let's go that one. And we will definitely get some quick experience off of that one. Well, there's the first level. Second one adds uh, fairly slowly. Ooh, eleven times multiplier. That is definitely something I can appreciate. That's pretty much just a fire and forget kind of thing there. Maybe not forget, but walk away from. Oh, these guys do seem to still be firing at me. There we are. Ooh, the tank. I want to get him dancing. <laughs> there we are. No, oh, I didn't want another Groovatron. Wanted the protoclast. Well, Zircon got another level. Good, good. Might get a good bit of experience off that tank. Or just as much experience as every other enemy in the game. Okay, and that'll get us up to the secret area with the rare titanium. We do want to collect that again. Is that the only one? Yeah, it looks like it. Nothing back here. Yeah, I might as well collect those while we're at it. And that was kind of silly there. Reset the uh, counter. Oh, unfortunate. Zip up. Oh. Have to chain that one. Alright. Can do. Huh. Apparently already got those. Not going to let me get it again. That's unfortunate. However, that puts a spot about halfway through the area. Yeah. Oh, yes. Got a few more Meboids down here. Ah, that's just about almost the perfect radius. If I tossed it right in the middle, it looks like it would have gotten everything. Good. Yeah. That one really is quite nice. Deals a lot of damage I don't have to do directly, and I can just kind of throw it out there without having to worry about really going in and getting my hands dirty. Won't necessarily kill everything immediately. But, 
it will deal quite a bit of persistent damage. Now, wasn't there a secret area at one of those? Hmm. No, I suppose not. Might have been a level further into the game. Come to think of it, pretty sure it was right there where we fight the Snaggle Beast there in Nebula G4. Ah, this section again. Alright, here is where I want to have another Zircon out. Let him take care of the trash. Ah, reset my counter again. Come on, Luna. If I can get it close enough to the wall there... Yeah, it should deal damage to them through the wall. And it is leveling up like a monster. Cards, ammo. Not sure if it's going to handle both of those by itself. But hey, a little extra damage never hurts. A hey, good time on that one. And I think that is another tank. Oh, come on, Luna. That was just pure silliness. Alright, well here I want to stay out of the way of the tank. Very definitely want to stay out of the way of the tank. Oh, come on. Or if I don't stand in the way two tanks. That explains a lot. Alright, Mr. Zircon. You're gonna help me out here, right, buddy? Right? Right? Looks like we got all of them. Hopefully now they put the race back on. Great. Alright, so the part that we had actually missed the first time around as far as where the gold bolt was located, it was way over here. Basically, once you jump over to the top, you can just run your way over into the locked off area. And since it does have some crates and ammo, that's exactly what we're going to do. If it don't fall off. Ah, uh, Luna, Luna, making several silly mistakes this time. But you know what? We can always come back from those. Now, dying in the middle of a boss... Really? Dying in the middle of a boss battle would definitely be a mistake we can't come back from easily. So we don't want to do that one. Alright, best way to make it across is all the way to the back. And stay on a straight line. Don't wiggle back and forth. That's how you fall off. That's a little better. Hey, there we are. And like I said, earlier in the first playthrough there was a gold bolt there. And it didn't take me three tries to get up to it. Uh, get some bolts, get some ammo. Health? Full on health. Alright. Gonna get another cutscene as soon as we come into here. Yeah. Hey. Skip this one. And I want to close out of that real quick and open that shortcut there. Perfect. Out of curiosity. Hey, I can destroy those. Nice. Get a few 
more bolts, a lot more, <laughs> lot more bolts. Would have been even better if we'd been able to keep that times 11 multiplier, but... Oh well. Mr. Zircon is bored. These little patio areas are well, quite nice for getting some extra bolts. Get those last few. And yeah, we'll take a run through the bronze race. Shouldn't be too difficult now that we actually know how to do this. And I'm going to be, well, less than careful. Since I'm not having to try so hard for it. I didn't quite hit the boost pad on that one. And there we are. Ratchet activated the hoverboard nitrous system. Well, one of them at least. Not having to avoid the explosive crates is actually kind of messing with me. Activating just one will put the hoverboard's propulsion system right. on overdrive. Get full here. This is just a reminder that viewers are not permitted on the course. Yes, we see you. And please put your shirt back on. Come on. Hey, you got a lot of raritanium. But come see me and let's do some other. Oh boy, I do, don't I? No more crates right there to hang on to, but I'll fill up one of those real quickly. Now there are a couple of shortcuts you can take here when you are doing your speed run to try to get the trophy. Uh, basically by jumping over corners and launching yourself off of the corners of ramps and doing as many tricks as you can and landing them properly, you'll get a, a pretty decent speed. And even on the Gold Cup, it's uh, actually not quite that difficult. This takes a lot of practice. They're always giving away cool prizes here. Perks to being sponsored by Gadgetron. So what kind of time did we hit for that one? Uh, not a bad one, not a bad one. Still need to shave off 10 seconds for the uh, final go round, And I don't believe we get any special items for winning the gold race there. So we're going to head back to the ship here. Back to the ammo vendor, the Gatchetron vendor rather. And, well, drop a bit more in the way of raritanium for upgrades. Should be able to fill out the groove of bomb. I want to go with the protoclast as well since we're working on that one eventually. I would totally buy that if I were you. Alright, 100%. Magnum Buster's at 100 as well. Protoclast, yeah. Still four left. Not quite enough to get that last card upgrade, but only three more rare Tanyan left, and we can get that actually rather quickly. And let's get the Pixelizer as well. The more choices we have in weaponry, the better off we'll be. And since we've got the Trespasser, we can move on to... Planet Nebula G34. Don't quite know where I was getting planetoid from. No, we had a segment with Ratchet here that we completed the first time around. Well, completed first the first time around. And I think we'll want to do that again here as well. Just to get that optional journey outside the airlock. Now that's one of the requirements. We want to get the optional portion here. Which one is the, is the warlock? Airlock? 
warship. Yeah, that's the one we wanted to go to the optional. According to my database, we are headed to a shuttle designed for transporting Drex high value experiments. Well, I'll give him this. He stays busy. Let's go see what he's been making. Yeah, this is the one that's very quick. Yeah, it's got a timer that we've got to destroy on the way back. So we will want to do as much exploration as we can. And groove a bomb as many enemies as we can. Just in case. And we're still going to need nine more levels for a different type of achievement. Ah, come on. Luna even knew the guy was there. Yeah, and I'm supposed to not be failing so terribly. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll pop another Zircon here. Alright. Got both of them dancing right before they all die. Unauthorized Revitanium removal detected. Self destruct sequence initiated. This doesn't look good. Yeah, I suppose that did actually give us a uh, we must keep moving. gadget the first time through, was it? Come on. Ooh, close one. Ah, uh, still got hit. Come on, give me the bolts. I'm gonna miss out on some of them. Oh well. <laughs> Explosions in space. Ratchet, what's your status on Operation Falling Star? Uh, we got a little distracted. We're on it. I always get a little distracted. My sensors have picked up one of Dredd's prototypes outside this airlock. Yeah, I suppose we'll head that way as well. Clank segments generally tend to be a little fun. Be careful out there, pal. Now we'll just have to see if I can actually remember how to do them. Oh, I'd forgotten just how ploddingly slow he is. There's the upgrade we need. How fortuitous. It is a Gadgetbot upgrade chip. That changes. Yeah. Hmm. My upgrade should allow me to reprogram these Gadgetbots. How you doing out there, Clank? I just picked up a new gadget. Oh man, what'd you get? You know you have to share whatever you found. I think I will save these for me. Thank you. But there is still a prototype device nearby. I will collect it for you. Oh, fine. Hmm. So you want to bridge over that direction first. Bridge back. There we are. And collect that one. That was impressive. Oh, come on, Clank. Well, I suppose I can't really blame it on Clank. That was my own goof. Alright, gonna 
change that to the power bot early. So come on, get a few more bolts. And pop the door. And once again, it tells us which order we need to go in. Alright, so... You... Power bot first. Again, no. That should hold the door open from the other side. <laughs> Can't take either one with us, but there is the Magna Boots. And not but a quick trip back. I just located a pair of Magna Boots, returning to your position now. Awesome! I always wanted a pair of Magna Boots. Good work, pal. See you in a bit. Well, we definitely got through that a lot faster than we did the first time around. Still took some bad damage there, right there in the middle. And since we've got 12 Raritanium, we should be able to fill out the rest of the protoclast and start working on the pixel... Oh, we didn't do anything in the pixelizer, did we? That might have a lot to do with why it's not so great for us. Well, certainly won't hurt to start working on it now. We want to do overclocking if we can. That's way up there. So, range upgrades? Yeah, range upgrades first. Now I want to try to surround the special icons first. Ammo Shark! When enemies are defeated, this band mod occasionally stops the asset. I've, do you have a single... Stops the asset ID of a single bolt. Stamps? Stops? Anyways, uh, somehow transforming it into ammo. Which isn't necessarily a bad way to go. And... Pixelizer charges faster. This is never going to do any more damage, is it? Ah, uh, well. Might as well get started on surrounding that other cluster. And auto hack the trespasser. I'm aware that I will no longer get a trophy for that. Attention scientists! Chairman here. I just wanted to thank you for all of your hard work these last I may be your leader. Alright, we want to move bomb these guys. Zircon and get the protoclast ready. You know, just in case. Oh, come on, Luna. I do have to admit to getting somewhat annoyed with myself. It has been brought to my attention that we may have an intruder at the facility. If you come across anyone who is not a blarg, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the way we want to go. This is the optional area. 
I remember having quite a bit of difficulty with that one. Well, another rhino car that will do us no good whatsoever. Just in case we hadn't gotten it the first time around. Let's see, there was... Let me check the map here. Yeah, a couple of cards over that way. Oof. Bad damage there. Yes, I'm sure you are. Did we miss anything? No, it doesn't look like we did. Great. Oh, come on, Luna. Well, at the very least, we know we got those cards. It's a very foolish return, but... Can we get some... Yeah, we can. What is all this? These two guys we definitely want to group the bomb. Can we do both at once? Yeah, we can. Pop a protoclast. Should get some heavy damage out of it. Yes, keep falling to your dooms. You need a group of bombing. That's yes. That was probably a bit of a waste. That's the one that had the secret spot. Well, they died rather quickly. Fortunately, through the use of the Groove of Bomb, we are getting quite a bit of rare retainium. Two of these, yeah. Pop another protoplast. Hello, I recently learned that a few have been sneaking into our restricted area. Uh probably shouldn't have moved in too soon. This is a friendly reminder that eight five seven echo is not a pet. And should you be caught feeding it, its next meal will be you. I'm gonna drop another one right there. You got a lot of rare titanium. So come see me and let's do some upgrades. Some much needed ammo there. Huh. Yeah, definitely don't want to fall down there. Get the rhino maxed out? No, not even close. Alright, keep working on the pixelizer here. Get as many of these clusters as we can. Health Genie! Instruction manual for this band mod claims that it exploits a glitch to occasionally spawn health pickups whenever enemies are defeated. Whatever that means. Do we have enough to surround another? Almost, but not quite. Lacking one. Fortunately, we will get that Check out my inventory. Rather quickly. 
auto hack this one. And yes, that puts us right next to the boss battle. So I want to get the Groover Bomb out. Want to skip a cutscene. Get him dancing. And drop a Protoclast. I yeah, suppose we could toss out the uh, Rhino if we really wanted to cheese some experience. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Zircons. Yeah. Got hit when he charged us there that first time around. Transmitters boosted. Ah, uh, did I just sheep and ate a final boss? Well, not the final boss, but a boss boss. Captain, it's Ratchet. We just defeated the Snaggle Beast and found out what Drek is up to. <laughs> All right. Two more bolts. Another pack of cards. Some ammo. Don't need that ammo. Don't need that ammo either. So we'll fly back to the hub. Hey, I bet the Rangers could use jetpacks. I bet they could. Meanwhile, let's go check out those remaining card collections since we got... Hey, another set complete! And we're missing, what, just a few more spare cards? Yeah, I think we're only missing three or four, maybe. There's some... And there we have it. All cards completely earned. Which makes the collection statistics really nice. Uh, rare Tanium's up by 35%, Bolts are up by 30, Holo cards are up by 30, and Wrench Strength is doubled. And we have the Omega version of every weapon's available once we level them up to 5. So he must. A rather large and ungainly bird. But a bird nonetheless. And we did get some Meritanium off of that one. Nice. Able to get that final upgrade for the Pixelizer. The double buffer. How's the Pixelizer to refresh even faster, increasing rate of fire? Eh, not bad, not bad. Since we got five left. Get that nice and topped off here. Alright. Well, let's head on over to... Where are we going? Gaspar. Ooh, the lava world. That's right. We'll be able to get our jetpack here. After quite a bit of trouble and effort. 
but I do think we're going to save that for next time around. This has been a Lazy Luna Plays. I've been your host, Lazy Luna. If you've liked the video, then like the video. Leave a comment, subscribe, feel free to leave any feedback. I welcome it all. But until next time, stay lazy, my friends.